guys. Oh, oh my god. He's doing a piston trap redstone. Yes, I am. Hey, I'm going to be teaching you how to do one of these traps. Let me show you. Okay, here's one of them. I built, I did the uh, recording twice now, but every time I did the, like, the audio didn't never recorded. I think I broke this one. Yeah, it's not pushing up. Don't worry about the form works. I won't mess it up when I'm doing this video. I have to hold the button though the entire time I want to talk. Uh, yeah, so put that there. Let me just. Oh. Yeah, I don't grass out, so I'll just put a leaf. And basically, it comes out. Okay, it doesn't take freaking leaves. Okay, let me just. Tut tut. Tut tut, Andrew, get ready. There. Flies out. Comes back in. No one even knows that you're gone. <laughs> Pretty good, innit? Alright, uh, I'll teach you now. I'll probably just clear out this basement and use this. Because it will save me a lot of time. So I'll just get rid of all of this because I'm going to start right from scratch. I'm going to describe everything. Okay, needs a bit of torch. Need the lighting. This is my other one next to it. Yeah. I've just got to take away everything, make sure I'm not skipping anything. Should I just throw my torches? Okay. See, it's, it's really hard to talk when you've got your hand on for one button. I'm probably going to find a fix for this using fraps, but it's still a bit annoying. This is why it never works. Apparently I have to hold the button the entire time. And alright, I'm going to have another video uploaded with me playing with Jamie and Alex. Hey, I see that. Okay, let's begin. Let me just make sure. Wow, the mouse is acting up. There we go. So, I'm going to start with this still. Um, so, we got them there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to place these two here. So, two out. Jesus. So, it comes out there and it pushes them up. So, from there, one, two, like that. If I'm correct, which I... Yeah, I'm correct there. So, we're going to place another piston because it's going to push the pistons out you see so damn it all right like that just get rid of this like this so what happens is this pushes it out and this is also going to have two on top like that because it doesn't seem to push one um i'm going to put these there as well the only reason we need these ones on top is to push these out because when a sticky piston is deactivated it doesn't pull a block so we need these it'll push out and the power heel instantly activate once it touches and it'll jump back up but since we're doing a inverter it's going to do the opposite so it's going to come down and then get pulled out and then and then since it's a button it's going to push back up again if you can get that don't worry if you don't just copy me exactly if you're really noobish but hopefully you understand so what we're going to start is we're going to have the button here on your wall and you want one you want to put a block right behind it just on this level so it won't work if it's down here because it doesn't seem to connect a button there to there so it needs to be right behind the block and it can come down some steps if you want oh yeah that's why I did that and an inverter here what inverter does it basically flips the signal around so it's always powered until you actually power it then it turns off I know it's a pretty cool thing all you need to do for one if you ever want to make one just put a block and redstone it has to be running straight into it though and then it just powers it and then you hit the switch and it'll turn the torch off which will turn this off okay if you don't get that don't worry it took me a while as well there we go and then we put these here and shit. Right, so what this is gonna happen is this is gonna push out, this pushes up, and you see here it goes in. <coughs> I haven't got a cold, don't worry. I'm just quite tired. Uh, yeah, when people when people uh, do recordings and they got a cold, uh, that's that's really nice of them, because I would never f like do recordings when I got a cold. All right, so now let me explain. What happens is. I power it, it turns these off, and basically what happens is these come down and these pull out. So these need to delay. The, all redstone repeater does is delay the switch. Once you right click these, it delays it by a tick. You can say a second. 
so that's one second after these so these come down and then since we have the tick there it then it pulls it out if you don't get it like I keep saying don't bother worrying about it look uh, I think that might be it now let me check yeah it comes down too quick so I'll fix that now See? don't worry no problems no problems I'll just add extra ticks so what you want to do is you probably have a little bit coming out the back you can probably uh, try and compact it up a little bit more than this probably get the inverter inside there somewhere you know just jazz it up a bit do your own style add your own flair you can uh, you can cover this up though like that that's about as much as you can do you can do that as well not that sorry you can't see that I don't know what oh, you can co oops you can cover around like yeah well you get me okay so yeah there isn't really much to that but that's about it it's a really simple trap for pistons my mates were asking me how do you do this Andrew how do you do it now I don't even need to tell them I just refer them to the videos I refer anyone to the video if they want to know how to make piston traps laying a bit of redstone it's really good you got and gates uh, non gates whatever really good so let me go over one more time how it works so the button you press it it powers this on with for about a, like a few seconds which then powers this off which then these this and this here get powered down which pulls down the grass and then since these have the delay on them these and this uh, these pull away the grass block and the piston at the same time dropping you to your gruesome ugly nasty death uh, if you're on a larger map than a super flat map you can just drop them into a pit and then it'll close up again and you can just leave them down there in your little cellar you do what you do yeah okay so since <laughs> since I've got a floor and I think it'll rather like try and kill me or suffocate me or push me back up again because I'm in creative say so down oh yeah oops I'm back up again so if I'm here I can Whee! yeah really good I think <laughs> okay I'm gonna guess this is not my shack yeah it's this one okay so yeah guys thanks for watching I love it when you like it and please subscribe please rate and love it comments I have videos sometimes where I have like 1800 like views and then like two comments what the stupid or okay so yes please this is probably gonna go to Smeg Gaming most likely and my own channel Rockwiler if you're on Rockwiler check out Smeg Gaming they're awesome it's where we have all our clips from all my friends basically it's a little community if you're on Smeg Gaming check me out you won't regret it. Oh my god. Word failure for the win. You won't regret it whatsoever. I do make awesome videos. I'm starting more on the gameplays. I used to do camera, like, I used to film my mates, like, um, do a bit of video editing. But, so yeah, it's a little background story. So yes, please do rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later. Rockwilder.